We'll start with two people escaping a house fire in Pembroke. Thanks for joining us. I'm Chris McKinnon. And I'm Anna Rittis Rodriguez. And for Kate, that home is now a total loss. WBC's Michael Cross talked to the fire chief just moments ago. He's on the scene with the latest. Mike? The 911 call for the fire came in around 9.15. I'm going to go ahead and take a step out of the shot. You can see the building is a complete loss. The fire chief tells me when crews got on scene, it was going pretty good. The single family home is completely destroyed. It will eventually be knocked down. We're here along Route 14 here in Pembroke, which will be shut down for a few more hours as they continue to put out hotspots. The chief says that two people lived inside and made it out safely. The chief says they did have some minor issues with a hose. We had a minor issue with a burst hose, so our water supply got shut off for a little bit, which allowed the fire to advance a little quicker than we would like. So, I mean, our efforts for the main building weren't going to really change all that much, so we concentrated on saving the exposures on either side, which had begun to, begin to burn. DEP has been called as a precaution because this home is next to a pond. The chief said there was some concern that there could be some dirty water going into that pond. He says that there were no injuries to his men or the people that were inside. There is some speculation about what might have caused this fire, but at this point it remains under investigation. The fire marshal will be coming in to make that determination. We're live in Pembroke this noontime. I'm Mike LaCrosse, WBZ News.